Hello and welcome to the What's New in the S2M Center version 10 video series. In this video, we're going to be going over the new features added to the tool catalog. Starting in the S2M Center version 10, we now have the ability to use a DXF file to define the shape of our tools. I've got a DXF shaped router here that I've created. I'm going to now click on the tool shape click on import DXF and find a DXF file that was prepared for this. I'll click the open button and you can see our DXF profile displayed here. Now this is unfortunately in the incorrect position. To fix it all I have to do is use the rotate button to rotate it to point the router bit down and then mirror the profile so it is on the right side of the reference line if I had to change the scaling at all, I could set that right here. Everything seems fine, so I can go ahead and click Import. And now you can see the DXF was used to give a general profile of this DXF router. So now I can go to Tool Properties, Save My Shape, and there we have it. I now have a DXF shaped router bit. Starting with the S2M Center version 10, we can go to any saw tool in our tool catalog and specify that we want to allow this saw to be selected for stop dado operations. We just need to select the property and change it from no to yes if we would like it to be used. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video on the new features of the S2M Center. If you'd like to learn more, please visit us at our website at www.screentomachine.com.